Today, we will talk about the inequality and poverty, the, um, especially in China. The issue is, of course, inequality or poverty, and the case in point is uh, China. Uh, in the area of relative inequality, China seems to be a problem. But China is having a problem widening inequality, especially since the 1980s. Uh, you can see that in this graph showing the degree of inequality uh, over time for China and the United States. The, uh, back in the 1960s and 70s, China's degree of inequality was very low, but since the 1980s, the Gini coefficient in China has been rising very rapidly, now surpassing that of the United States. This is a problem. Uh, why is this the case? What caused this rapid increase in the degree of inequality in China? Uh, there seem to be a lot of reasons, of course. One of the main reasons may be the huge gap between urban wage and rural wage. If the ratio of urban wage to the rural wage, and as you can see, the ratio is something like a 3.0. That means the uh, wage in the urban area is about three times as high as that in the rural area. That's a huge difference. Therefore, as more people migrate from rural to urban areas, the wage gap tends to increase. And in fact, the uh, average income in the uh, rich provinces with a lot of urban industrial activities uh, is three to four times as high as that in the rural area with uh, typical agriculture activities. So that is a problem, but when you compare China with other developing economies, you can see a very different picture here. Uh, here is a Gini coefficient for China, 42 means 0 0.42. But in other typical developing economies such as Mexico, Brazil, Russia, and South Africa, their uh, Gini coefficients are even higher than that in China. So among developing economies, China has not been to, doing too bad, but by its sheer size in the global economy, a widening uh, gap uh, in the uh, relative inequality uh, is a problem, of course. Now turning to the poverty problem, here China seems to offer a solution in reducing the global uh, poverty uh, problem uh, because China is responsible for most of the uh, reduction in extreme poverty in the global economy. Uh, here, uh, people in extreme poverty have only uh, $1.25 cents a day. Even among the people having income uh, less than $2 a day, China's contribution has been enormous. Uh, between 1980 through 2010, uh, China has been successful in reducing the, the number of people in extreme poverty from, say, uh, 700 to 800 million people down to uh, uh, 200 or 300 million. Uh, that's a tremendous decrease. As a result, people in extreme poverty in the world declined from, say, 2 billion to 1 billion uh, for the last 
last uh, two or three decades. So here is uh, an image uh, of what's been going on in China. Here's the kind of income levels, here's the time. Then over time in China, uh, even poor people have been successfully increasing its income gradually, however. Um, whereas the rich people are, of course, getting richer and richer at a faster rate than the poor people, or therefore the relative inequality has been widening. So the issue is whether you should look at this poor people and saying it's good to have uh, less and less people in the extreme poverty uh, category, like this, or you should say uh, it's bad to have this widening gap or worsening relative inequality. The, uh, in connection with this, China still has a lot of uh, inequality problems, which include the problems faced by migrant workers. Uh, here, those who move from uh, rural to urban areas uh, cannot get a good job or even good education. Uh, because of the registration system and they cannot get a good, uh, a good job uh, outside of their provinces they register in. Uh, the, in each uh, province, state-owned enterprises seem to enjoy, seems to be enjoying a privileged status protected by the state and that's a big problem. In connection with that, corruption among uh, local officials, often connected to uh, this, uh, this state-run uh, enterprises, uh, uh, the uh, criticized for corruption. And that's why many people in China uh, have uh, dissatisfaction and criticisms. Uh, with regard to this inequality problem. We'll discuss these issues in the context of uh, state uh, or market capitalism uh, in this course.